What's up guys, my name is Brandon and Apple released iOS 13 beta 8 a little under one week after the release of beta 7. Now this was released on August 21st, but I was on vacation so I couldn't cover this beta until now. Also public beta 7 is out as well for all of you public beta testers. But taking a look at the size here, you can see that this is a very minor, a very small update. This one came in at just 129 megabytes here on my iPhone 10R. It was also small for the public beta on my iPhone 10s Max here. So you can't really expect too much to be changed with this beta, but there are a few changes that I wanted to talk about. So anyways, if we go into our settings and take a look at the build number general about the build number there, you can see 17A5572A. So we do have an A at the end there, which is a good indication that we are getting pretty close to the GM, the Gold Master build. Now, you know this is a small update when the modem firmware hasn't even changed. So the modem firmware is still the same as it was in the previous beta. So you're not going to see any kind of improvement as far as cell connectivity on LTE. So now what's actually new in iOS 13 developer beta 8, aka public beta 7? And the first thing are some 3D touch menus have also been been refined even further. We talked about this in beta seven, I believe even in beta six, Apple continues to revise and change up the 3D touch or the haptic touch menu on icons on the springboard. So you can see here, there is a difference between beta seven on the left and beta eight on the right side here. And there are also a couple other menu changes in the 3D touch menu. Now, the next change I noticed is inside of Apple Music. So in Apple Music now, you can see beta seven on the left-hand side, beta eight on the right-hand side. You can see for artists, there's no longer gray artists anymore. You can see here for Jaden Bartles and Jay Lee on the left-hand side, there's no picture. It's just a little gray microphone like a placeholder. But now in beta eight, it actually takes a picture. Uh, we actually have a thumbnail there for these artists. So basically, if there's no picture for the artist themselves, it just takes an album cover or a single cover and puts that there as the picture for that artist, which is really nice because obviously the gray there makes this look really bad and almost like it's not integrated well with Apple Music. You can also now get transcriptions inside of the podcast application on iOS. Now, previously, this was only available on the Mac app on Mac OS, but now you can do it on the iOS app if you do listen to podcasts a lot and you like to search for things like things that are said during the podcast and things like that. Now, if we go into the shortcuts application, you'll notice that the automation tab is still missing just like it was on beta seven. So still nothing new with the shortcuts application and automations. Hopefully Apple will release this with the final version of iOS 13, but they'll probably wait for like iOS 13.0.1 or 13.1 or something like that before they put automations back in. And also the three finger tap on the home screen, like I mentioned in my previous video, doesn't appear when you tap it. But if you tap and hold, you can see that that does appear that the little three finger tap gesture the menu does appear when you do it when you don't click on an icon you just have to hold it for like a second and you can see there so if we go into safari it's a lot easier to demonstrate since i don't click on any applications but you can see there the clipboard copy and paste and all that shows up with the three finger tap there but if you let go it goes away so that's really nice that they've actually done that instead of just making it so a tap brings it up you have to hold it for a little bit but it still makes playing games difficult like PUBG. i've had a lot of people still complain that PUBG is hard to play even though you have to hold it it still pops up in the game. So hopefully Apple or hopefully the developers of PUBG or something fixes that so it doesn't really break or just make games hard to play. Now there were a couple bugs in iOS 13 beta 7 that drove me crazy, especially in Instagram and Twitter. Instagram DMs were really broken. So basically when you would start typing, when you would type a lot and get to the next line in a DM, it would actually just disappear. You wouldn't be able to see what you were typing, uh, but that has been fixed here in beta eight. So let me show you an example. So we have beta seven on the left, beta eight on the right, the same version of Instagram. If we're typing in a DM and it goes to the next line, take a look at that. On beta seven here, you can see the text disappears, but in beta eight that has been fixed. So the text does still appear. Now there was a little workaround for this. If you just press return, and then go back up to the top. You can start typing again and see what you're typing back in beta seven, but it was really annoying the fact that it just happened and text would disappear like that. It was really annoying. So I'm glad Apple did fix that. It's also the same for the Twitter application. So if you go into Twitter, the last line of tweets would sometimes just disappear and you wouldn't be able to see the final line of that tweet, but that has also been fixed here in beta eight. So you can see it here with this tweet, you can see here in beta seven, that last line, which is actually a link has disappeared, but on beta eight, it is still there. And that was a theme throughout every single tweet pretty much inside 
inside of Twitter. It's really broken and you wouldn't be able to see the full tweet when you actually clicked on it to see the tweet view instead of just seeing it on your timeline. So it's a good thing that Apple fixed that. It had something to do with the text, the way text was in iOS 13. So it's a good thing that has been fixed. Now, one bug that I noticed in beta seven, and I can't tell if it's fixed in beta eight yet, is that the phone application, when you would have a missed call, it would continue showing the one badge, even though you already you know, checked your missed calls and your voicemails, it would still stay there until you rebooted the phone. So hopefully that's fixed in beta eight. I will touch on that in my beta nine video, which is where I'll talk about beta eight. But I did also wanna mention in beta eight that the music application and adding music to playlists is still laggy for some reason. So if I go to the song right here and say I wanna add it to a playlist and I want to add it to, let's just say we'll add it to this playlist. See how long it takes for the animation to come up? Still waiting, still waiting, still waiting and it will eventually show up that it's added to the playlist, but it takes so long, it's so laggy for some reason, and I don't know why, it has nothing to do with the connection, but it just takes a long time, and sometimes it won't even show it. So I'm just gonna add it to a playlist again, we're gonna try that again. And this is what I'm talking about. Sometimes it doesn't even say that it added it to a playlist. I'll add it to a different playlist. Maybe it's just like that. So I'll just add it to this playlist. And you can see there's still nothing. No matter what playlist I add it to, it doesn't even show that it gets added to a playlist. So Apple really needs to fix the music application when it comes to adding songs to playlists. It's very laggy. They don't always show up in the playlist themselves. And I found that sometimes duplicates even get in there, even though it's supposed to prevent that. Now, some people have also reported that their screen recording failed. So sometimes when you screen record at the end, it wouldn't even be able to save it to your camera roll because you would get an error message. Now this has not happened to me, but I've seen people online talking about it. So hopefully that's fixed here in beta eight as well. And then when it comes to 3d touch, 3d touch feels exactly the same as beta seven. Of course, this doesn't feel quite as good as iOS 12. iOS 12 was probably our last time we're ever going to have 3d touch feel like actual 3d touch on, you know, the iPhone 10 S and 10 S max and the phones that have the pressure sensitive screen, unlike the 10 R. But I will say that the 3D touch has progressively gotten better throughout the iOS 13 beta stages. I just don't think it's ever going to get there to like what it was with iOS 12. Now, as far as battery life goes, battery life is going to be about the same on beta 8 as it was on beta 7. I cannot see a huge jump in battery life at all, especially with such a small update. But of course, I will confirm that in my beta 9 video. Now, I will say that the beta 7 uh, did have really good battery life. I got really great battery life on this, just like I did on beta six. So I'm expecting the exact same from this current beta. Now, as far as performance goes, performance feels great here on beta eight. It's pretty much the same as beta seven, but since we have those bug fixes, like in the Twitter and the Instagram app, it just feels a little bit better, a little bit more polished of an OS than it did previously. I've also noticed how I don't have any crashes when I go ahead and multitask down here with the bottom bar, like I did a few betas ago. So that has not returned. So everything feels really good. You can definitely tell we're getting close to the final Final release of iOS 13. So definitely update from beta seven to beta eight if you haven't already to get those bugs patched and just to have a, an overall smoother experience on iOS 13. Now, as far as beta nine goes, when can we expect to see developer in beta nine and public beta eight? And that's likely going to come early next week, possibly on the 28th or the 27th. That would be exactly the 28th would be exactly one week after the release of this current beta, beta eight, because that did come out on Wednesday, the 21st. So we can anticipate a new beta next week. But anyways guys that's it for ios 13 beta 8 again it is out for public beta testers as well this is going to be public beta 7 you can see here i do have it loaded up just not installed yet on my iphone 10s max but of course the size was the same as the developer beta so yeah let me know what you guys think about beta 8 and also stay tuned for my video coming on beta 9 thanks for watching guys and i'll see you soon